I seen an interview from Fat Joe, and he said that um him and Biggie was working on an album together, and he said that um they had a whole lot of Tupac disses on the album. How you feel about him saying that? Uh, I never even saw him say that, but I don't think so. I'm sure I was around. I was around for a lot of stuff, and I don't. I I didn't hear none of that at all. Shout out to my brother Fat Joe too, but maybe that's something he know. Maybe that's something I wasn't around for, but I didn't. I didn't hear those records. But him and Biggie was working on the album together, right? Um, they was talking about working on some stuff, but I, I don't. I don't recall no records getting recorded. I never heard none of them. You know what I mean? So I can't speak on that because I never heard the records. I seen an interview that Nas did with Drink Chumps, and he said that um, Biggie, he was trying to get him on a song that he was dissing Tupac on. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Busta Rhymes was supposed to be on that song as well. How you feel about Nas saying that? Uh, I, I, maybe that could have been possible, but Big wasn't really trying to do diss songs to Pac. I mean, he was making it aware. You know, little lines he may say in certain songs and situations like that, because, I mean... Obviously, you can't stray away from it. People knew it was it was beef, but Big wasn't gonna put forth a full effort into a whole full song, this and Tupac. But I'm I'm going to say some lines to let you know I'm aware of what you're doing. I hear it, and you know Big was kind of more like just sprinkling on it. You know, on the Jay Z record, if Faith had twins, she probably have Tupacs. He was get it. To, he was kind of like, yeah, I, I'm letting you know I'm aware of it, but I'm gonna have fun with it. And I'm not going to say too much because Big didn't really want to make it that. He didn't want to thrive. He didn't want to add too much fuel to it. But I'm going to let you know, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hear it, but I'm not going to sit here and put my full attention into making songs. And then you make one and we're going to go back and forth and do this. That's, that wasn't Big Energy. But he would definitely tap into some lines sometimes just to let him know, like, I hear you. I hear you. And if it, if it comes down to just the rap battle and things like that, Big was all up for it. But, you know, I don't want no drama. I don't want to see nothing happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing that. But if you want to play this type of game, we could play this type of game. You know, you, you want to go bar for bar type of thing. Big was all for that because Big was a lyricist in real life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Um, I feel you, my man. But um, as I think about it, though, man, um, I seen an interview that you and Buster did. Y'all did an interview with um Andrew Martinez, and you made a comment in the interview, and you said that Biggie never dissed Tupac. And Buster Rhymes, he corrected you, and he said that um Biggie actually did diss Tupac on a song called The Ugliest. And I think um Nas, he was supposed to be on that song as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But it was just he he just said it. He just said a few lines. He never said Tupac name in the song. If you listen to it, the song is out. He said one line. He said, "And the winner is not that thinner kid. Bandanas, tattoos. My fist never bruise. Land still cruise. Frank White paid his dues." So he said that line where if you was thinking about it, you would know who he's talking about. But he never said Tupac name. And I don't make. I don't put disses like that. It's not a diss if you don't say your name. You got to diss and say somebody's name if if you want to call it a diss record. But if you're just throwing subliminals, that's only for that man to hear and figure out. You know what I mean? Because you're going to say something only he will understand. Like, all right, he's talking about me when he said that line. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, it wasn't, you know, Big didn't say his name. But Big was, like I said, Big liked to tackle on things. Like, okay, I hear you, and I'm going to do this. So it was just something light. And it was for Busta Rhymes' song at that. The song never came out. Supposed to have been Busta Rhymes, Nas, and Big. And it was produced by Q-Tip. But... Everybody never did their verse after Big did his. Nobody, nobody laid the verse on it. So the, the song just got kind of, it got kind of pushed away. 